So welcome, once you open your PC, I'll be deleting your text, you see. And you head up to background setting, where you go head up from gallery. This is the background, it's available at the video description. So this is the size you're going to use. In case you have another size in mind, you can resize it, but this is the background I'm going to use. Well, we insert it like this. And the next thing I'll quickly do is to head over to text. And I'll insert my text. You can use, depend on what you want to do a company name or the brand name or the name of the logo you want to design so for the purpose of the tutorial we just type pixel because that is the application i'm using to make this design so it's going to be pixel lab mockup so this is the text after you insert the text you change the font you can use any font absolutely any font but if you want this font you come here to be available in the video description so it's heavy tax that is the name of the font i'm going to use so from there you head up to you adjust your test, increase the size a little. You go after that, you go to texture. See, as it, let's go to texture. Well, we are going to change the texture of our asset that's going to be for the reflective look. So, you go to texture, you go, you select the same background again, but this time around, you're going to make some adjustments. So, you select a particular area of the background to use as, as your texture so that it will show a reflective uh, look on Pixel App. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as a sign graphics for more exciting tutorial like the this. The program we are using is going to be available in the video description. So, you okay? It. Make sure you enable maintain ratio. You leave it at 100. Yeah, you okay? It. See your text is there. Let me take it up a little so you see it. You see, as a text here. So the next thing we are going to do now, you enable uh, emboss. So you adjust your light angle. See the way I'm adjusting it. You take it to 240 intensity you, you adjust it and you increase the size of your text so that you'll be able to see what you're doing very well so that's why i increase the size so you adjust your intensity 95 you can use another number but this is how i'm going to adjust my own depending on how you want your your text or logo to look like so you make sure you take the bevel to one or two that will make your text look more professional so from there we'll quickly head up to perspective this is where the main work comes so on this perspective you see that plus that zoom uh, a button there you're going to use it very well you you, you, ha you click on it then you use your hand to adjust your workspace so that you'll be able to zoom and see what you're doing very well you click on it again if you want to come back to it then you drag your perspective i'm the line in the in the background is going to guide me so i'm going to put my perspective right on that line there so i hope you're watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel at sign graphics so you make your adjustment the way you see me doing it on the screen guys in this in this tutorial we are not going to use all these 3d rotate and the rest again what i'm going to use is perspective and pay attention to this stage watch the video till the end so that you understand what i'm doing you make some of your adjustment there, there like that Next thing you use the line on the on the background there. The line is going to guide you uh, whenever you're making your adjustment on the on the perspective. So the line on the background there is that is what we are going to use now for the tutorial and for the for the rules of the tutorial and for the type of background we are using. So maybe if you are using another background, you can use the ruler. Other video coming up, I'll show you how to use ruler as a how to use ruler to guide yourself with ruler on um, perspective so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and sign graphics for more exciting tutorial and exciting content like this you want for you to understand this thing you need to watch it very carefully you watch what i'm doing and you watch to the end see how i will adjust my zoom and i'll come back use my perspective to adjust so from there the next thing we are going to do we will go to movement button so i'll move it up a little bit see we are moving it up more exciting tutorial will be coming up on my channel so subscribe hit the notification button so that you will not mix any other tutorial you head up to 3d text then you go to this time around you use oblique then, and then you come to this oblique angle you see now your 3d will look more professional on that wall you'll not be wasting your time doing this 3d rotate again so if you know how to use perspective 
3D rotate will just so it's better come to 3D depth you reduce it a little bit see the depth there I reduce it I'm using 3 then the darken increase the darken to at least 45 for the purpose of the tutorial and depending on the background you will be using but my background I'll be using 45 45 will be okay for me would be tango yeah let me adjust it a little bit you know my adjustment I'm doing it based on what I'm seeing and how I want it to look like so yours might be different but that's how I do my own that's okay for that next thing I'll do I'll head up to shadow yeah enable shadow reduce your blur radius on the shadow use it use at least use five you can use any one you want but for my own the one that suits you the one you prefer you can use it or oh, enable outer glow also we are just the, uh, the x offset s offset x to our uh, five offset y put it six or five depending on the one how you want it to look like in your design now blur radius or increase it a little bit and reduce the opacity of your shadow make sure you're using a dark shadow that will be okay a dark color shadow yeah that is okay you see now we have we are done with it so the next thing maybe if you want to have another copy on the wall there you can just make a copy and make your adjustments and remember anytime you you're doing more than one line on a, a 3d background like that and on a mock-up background like that maybe you, you are putting two objects or two different texts make sure that you go back to each of the setting and you try to reset it so after reduce, I'll just reduce the size of my test you see since I produce the size the, the arrangement on the wall have changed so the, 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 uh, what I'll do now will still go back to perspective and make a little adjustment to my perspective so that is that if not the work is already done here you understand how you can use perspective and the content is there for you to get the 3d markup background and the rest so they are there on the, on the link description the, um, the font will be on the video description the background will be on the video description don't forget to subscribe to my channel at design graphics for more exciting tutorial like this now we are done with our work you maybe you reduce the depth of your 3d a little bit and the rest so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel at design graphics for more exciting tutorial like this you see now we are done with your work you can save your work now wow for private tutorial class you can hit me on my whatsapp follow me on facebook instagram and twitter at assign graphics or keep up with more exciting now you save your work thank you for watching my video like and share my video if you like it <laughs>